y'all. Mad ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. Welcome back to yet another video. And today it is Albania's turn. And as the 2021 season of the Eurovision Song Contest is finally kicking into gear, I get to listen and react to the songs from Festivale e Kingis. I also want to say Festival de Cansao, but that is Portugal. We're talking Albania. They have, as usual, they are usually the first country to pick the song, or at least the first national final, I'm using air quotation marks, to actually pick their act. It, it's usually in December. There were some discussions whether or not it would take place in December, but that appears to, appears to be the case here. And we don't have the exact date yet, so stay tuned on that for more information. But the songs have been revealed by the broadcaster, 26 of them. So there's just no way I can do them all in one video. So I'm going to break them out in a little Albania Festivale e Kinga series. So today, randomly selected, I'm going to review, I have them here on my smart list, Eric Loshi, I'm going to butcher all those names, Florent Abrashi, Gikliola Havriko, Ines Niziri, Sardi Strugaj Gai, and Victor Tahi Rai, Raj. you get it. So those are the songs that I will react to first. I'm going to listen to them right here, right now, share my thoughts and first impressions, and then rank them, and... We'll go from there. I uh, hope you're watching and hope you're enjoy. Let's talk Eurovision. <laughs> are these people just screaming in the background? Are these dogs barking? I still can't figure out what that is. I'm always so happy to have non-English songs. The fact that they're all going to be not in English, at least in the national final, is always fun. That's a good chorus. That's actually quite a good chorus. Okay, that sounds not like someone is trying to whistle, but they can't. Like... <laughs> I will say this, I find the shouting or barking in the back quite distracting and a little bit out of place. Maybe it'll work on stage, but just listening to it on and the recording is odd. He has a good voice and I will say for a Festival Ikenga's song, this sounds very complete. They often sound like uh, demo versions. That's not the case here. The power lies within that first part of the chorus. This. That's good. That's good. But the song doesn't keep captivate me completely. It needs to be entertaining the entire three minutes, and that's just not quite happening here. That's a long intro. It took like 30 seconds just to get to him starting to sing. They gotta fix that. I also forgot that they don't have to have three minute versions ready in Festival of Kengas. They have to cut it down later on if they end up winning. This song by Florent Abrashi is almost four and a half minutes long, so there is a lot of room to cut things. It's a fine, gentle, almost soft rock song, maybe not that soft, that is not trying to be in your face, it's not trying to be catchy or contemporary. It seems genuine for the artist's, based on the artist's craft that he was putting forward. At the same time, I think that will work against its chances at the contest, or at the festival at least. Certainly at Eurovision. I don't think this would work at Eurovision at all. Yeah, this is kind of draggy a little. I understand that they would cut that by 90 seconds if this were to win, but let's be real. It's not going to win, right? 
always appreciated a nice guitar, electric guitar solo, but it doesn't rescue the song. Um, it's, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'm just, it just doesn't have a moment. It's just a little, just there. So this song is uh, three and a half minutes long, so they also would have to do a little bit of cutting there. 30 seconds. <laughs> I like the bling, 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 bling part. It sounds very uh, relaxing. Well, I changed my mind here. The timing was a little off here for me. The first part was almost like I'm in a spa and it's relaxing and soothing. Now it's picking up some steam, but it doesn't have the melodic oomph, right? Again, the thing with Albania and Albania's national final is I don't really dislike or hate a lot of the songs. There just seems to be a lot of in-between songs, and this is where E lira, lire, that's how you pronounce it. This is where the song falls for me. It's not something that I actively dislike. It's just not something that leaves a mark, right? I don't know why I'm saying right, like you can respond to me right now. Yeah, once again, I enjoy it while it's on. It's not bad, but it is not a winner, right? It, I said again, right, I need to work on that. It's not a winner in my view, even if it ends up winning festival, Kangas, it just wouldn't go anywhere at Eurovision. It's good. It's okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this is good. Oh. Oh. Oh, I love the chorus. Yes, I'm definitely into her voice. I'm definitely into the chorus. The verses are kind of mellow, but they're just really there just as a transition to that great epic moment. Now, I will say that this sounds a little bit too demo to me, the backtrack, but that can get fixed, and Albania always fixes that. Oh, I love the chorus. It's just so beautiful. Uh, uh, it sounds like love injected. Oh, whoa. Hmm. This is on my radar, Albania. Sing it, child. Okay, yeah. This is good. All right, now we're talking. Uh, are we expect I'm expecting good harmonies here. I know I'm like going crazy. This is not the kind of song to really to tap along. Okay. Yeah, not where I thought the song's gonna go. I was quite intrigued at the beginning, the way it started with those cool harmonies. I'm just not a fan of where it ended up. Yeah. This is like when I think of the traditional Festivale Kangas entry. This is what comes to mind with Sardi. So I'm sure there is an audience for that. And sometimes those uh, juries in Festival Kangas randomly go for that kind of music, but I can't say I'm into this. It has redeeming qualities though, like this part is kind of cool, but, but, but I just don't like this whole very soft part and then this not very pleasant loud chorus. It's just the whole combo, it's not sitting right with me here. Yeah, I'm just not getting into this. I'm trying, I'm trying to be open-minded, but I'm just like uh, ready to hit that next button. But I always promise myself to finish a song. I'm just kind of bored. 
I'm all. I will say I'm always happy when they have music like that in the running. It is not the most accessible, mainstream, obvious choice, but there is. It caters to a group of people that may not watch that kind of show if it wasn't for them. So I'm all about diversity. That being said, I'm not really into this. I think it just doesn't have. A strong melody, and I guess I'm just not used to this kind of music a whole lot. But I appreciate it for being there. I guess there is just this thing in Albania. They just have a soft spot for the electric guitar solo. Not that I necessarily have a problem with that, but uh, it is very specific because you know that was like big in the '80s. Yeah, I just I really don't have anything else to add here. It's just there is a place for it in Festival de Kangas, but that place is not the top spot. If that makes any sense. <sighs> okay, I'm done. All right, everyone. This is my reaction to the first six songs in Festival de Kangas, and I am going to share with you my personal top six, which, you know, that's how it works. And the song that's technically then my least favorite, my sixth place goes to Sardi Strugaj, and keep in mind, I will not even bother trying to pronounce the name of the songs because I'm already struggling and butchering their names. No need to butcher your language on top of it. But this is the one that's probably the most meh to me. Once again, there was no hateable song in there. It's just not catered to my taste. So this was definitely my last place. In fifth place, I am putting Victor Tahiraj. Rai. Um, outdated to my taste, old fashioned, but there is a place for it, and I am glad it's in the running, even though it was not meant for me. The song that I'm putting in fourth place is Florent Abrashi. That is the song that I guess is the most genuinely felt rock song, like it felt genuine to me. And it was actually not a bad song. It was a little long for my taste, not that I, every song has to be three minutes long for me, but it, it felt as there were parts that they could have cut that felt a little dragged out, especially the beginning. So that was my issue, but I do like that it felt genuine and that alone deserves a lot of credit. Now, moving on, this is my top three and the song that I thought was the third best in the, rank, uh, in the running today was Gigliola Haveriku, and I'm putting her in third place. It's actually a very nice song. I like a lot about it. Is it the one that I think stands out? No, but compared to the rest of the pack, it had a certain character and personality to it. I liked her voice. I liked the vibe of the song. It just was at times not as exciting as it could have been, but nevertheless, a solid effort in my view. And then there are only two songs left, and by telling you my number two, you know who my number one is going to be anyway. But the song that I'm putting in second place is Eric Loshi. I think I said that right. If not, correct me. But that was the first song I listened to, and it stuck with me for the most part anyway. I thought that it sounded at least a lot more complete and... Um, like not just a demo version, but something that could actually put forward to Eurovision. I love his very powerful vocals in the chorus. I'm a little less impressed with the verses in that sense that, not that they're softer, that's not an uncommon thing, but I just get a little sidetracked doing other things when this is on and they need to, he needs need to focus for the entire three minutes and that's a disconnect there. But I still think with a revamp, that could be even more powerful. This is on my radar for sure. And the more I think about it, the more I like it. But my number one choice is my winner of the night, Enes Naziri. Out of the six songs I picked, Enes is definitely my clear number one. I think that one just has the most potential out of those songs tonight to actually win Festival Ikengas. It has a great hook, the chorus, and I do think that she has a great voice. My biggest problem was it's a demo version, but we all know 
almost every single time Albania wins, they do a complete revamp, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. <laughs> but here I can definitely see a lot of room for improvement as far as the orchestration is concerned. But melodically and style-wise, I think this has a lot. It's catchy, it's powerful, and I cannot wait to see it live because I think that could even do win me over even more. But for sure, my number one for tonight is Enos Niziri. And what do you think? How do you rank these songs that I had here? Leave your thoughts below in the comment section and the next video is coming up soon as well where I do the next batch of songs and share my rankings. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. Therefore, you won't miss it when they come on. It'll be very, very soon. That's what I can tell you. Anyway, thank you for watching. I cannot wait for the next songs. Oh, this is my favorite time of the year, listening to Eurovision songs or potential Eurovision songs. Anyway, I'm moving on. Have a good day. Bye.